Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of Vincent Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some multiple choice question related to contraception methods. So, please choose the one best response. Choose the one best response. Let us start with the first question. Oral contraceptive is prescribed for a woman. What side effect should you inform the woman might occur? Again, oral contraceptive COC is prescribed for a woman. So, what side effect should you inform the woman might occur? A. Cervicitis B. Ovarian cysts C. Breakthrough bleeding D. Fibrocystic disease Breast disease Okay A. Cervicitis B. Ovarian cysts C. Breakthrough bleeding D. Fibrocystic breast disease. Of course, what is common is the breakthrough bleeding. So, you should inform her about this. Spotting that happened with COC user. Let us go to the next question. What is the most frequent side effect associated with the use of an intrauterine device? Again, what is the most frequent side effect associated with the use of an intrauterine device? A. A tubal pregnancy B. Rupture of, the, of uterus C. An expulsion of the device D. An excessive menstrual flow. E. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Again, A. Tubal pregnancy. B. Rupture of the uterus. C. An expulsion with the device. D. An excessive menstrual flow. E. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Of course, the right answer here is an excessive menstrual flow go to the next the contraceptive dosage of dibumidroxyprogesterone acetate is the contraceptive dosage of dibumidroxyprogesterone acetate is a 50 mg every 3 months B 100 mg every 3 months C 150 mg every 3 months D 150 mg every 2 months E 200 mg every 3 months Again A 50 mg every 3 months B 100 mg every 3 months C 150 mg every 3 months D 150 mg every 2 months E 200 mg every 3 months Please choose the one best response The one best response here is 150 mg every three months okay let us go to the next patient feels faint immediate post intrauterine contraceptive device insertion the most likely cause is patient feels faint faint attack immediate post 
intrauterine contraceptive device insertion the most likely cause is a vasovagal reaction b perforation of uterus c anaphylaxis d heavy bleeding e septicemia again a vasovagal reaction b perforation of uterus c anaphylaxis d heavy bleeding e septicemia choose the one best response the one best response here is a vasovagal reaction okay let us go to the next the patient reported that she is not able to feel her intrauterine contraceptive device thread which of the following is the next most appropriate action again the patient reported that she is not able to feel her intrauterine contraceptive device thread which of the following is the next most appropriate action a perform pelvic examination and pelvic ultrasound b perform abdominal x-ray c perform abdominal CT scan d perform abdominal MRI e just reassure the patient without pelvic examination again a perform pelvic examination and the pelvic ultrasound b perform abdominal x-ray c perform abdominal ct scan d perform abdominal mri e just reassure the patient without pelvic examination choose the one best response of course the one best response here is a perform pelvic examination and pelvic ultrasound of course pelvic examination you can detect these reads it is all uh, already available but the patient can't feel it or even if it is missed you can do ultrasound to be sure that the device inside the uterus in place or not this is the first step okay okay go to the next how long is the vaginal ring left in place how long is the vaginal ring left in place a one week b two weeks c three weeks d two month e three month again a one week b two weeks c three weeks d two month e three month please choose the one best response the one best response here is c three weeks the same vaginal ring containing both hormone estrogen and progesterone like coc as coc is given for three weeks vaginal ring also used for three weeks and can be kept in place for three weeks let us go to the next question what do male condoms offer that other forms of birth control do not what do male condoms offer that other forms of birth control do not a least chance of failure b best protection against sexual transmitted infections 
the cheapest to use d easy for use e more tolerability again a least chance of failure b best protection against sexually transmitted infection c cheapest to use d easy for use e more tolerability please choose the one best response the one best response here is b best protection against sexually transmitted infections next question the following is considered absolute contraindication to the combined oral contraceptive pills the following is considered absolute contraindications to the combined oral contraceptive pills a varicose veins b previous history of viral hepatitis c prosthetic heart valve d diabetes mellitus choose the one best response again a varicose vein b previous history of viral hepatitis c prosthetic heart valve d diabetes mellitus the one best response here is c prosthetic heart valve because there is high risk for thromboembolism in such patients so coc is considered absolute contraindication in such cases and we know that thromboembolism is a life-threatening condition so in prosthetic heart valve there is absolute contraindication for use of coc this is the last question if you need to read more mcq question my book of multiple choice questions related to obstetrics gynecology and the contraception is already published on amazon and available also in scientific center of medical park in egypt also the other books belong to me textbook of obstetric textbook of gynecology and the contraception handbook all of them published on amazon and available for every part in the world and in egypt they are available in the library of scientific center of medical book